Hi guys, welcome back and hey to my new subscribers as well. We've got a polar bear. Um, so I had to print off the certificate and then um, the actual stuff's going to come in the next 7 to 10 days. However, I'm a bit miffed because I didn't realise when I did the poll I only had five choices to choose from. So what I'm going to do is give it another couple of weeks and then do it again. Because uh, loads of you said you wanted a snow leopard and there was penguins and there was dolphins. So I'm going to do it again with another five and then do another donation so we'll have two animals for the channel. Um, so just bear with me with that. But got a polar bear on the way. We'll have to think of a name for him. So today what we're going to do, based on our Mr. Polar Bear, is I've picked two nature decks for us to use. And um, we're going to do how they're coming back. Okay, so deck number one and deck number two. So obviously it's about you and your person, where it's on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Deck times are in the description. If anyone asks, asks me for deck times, I always put them in the description. One, two. Um, so all you've got to do is press the little down button and you'll find it. Okay, can you get me into my collect? This was number one, wasn't it? Collective's energy of deck number one, please. It's cute, in a polar bear. Deck number one. So yeah, keep your eyes open. I'm gonna do a second one. So it works. Uh, this blah, 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 blah. this reading works on the strongest mutual energy between you all. Uh, so if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later day. And yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay, think about your person. Can we get into the person's collective thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? One. So, are they coming back? That could be if they've distanced themselves from you, if they've ghosted you, if you're broken up, whatever the equivalent of your relationship is and where it's gone. Um, doesn't matter with this regard to situations because it works on mutual energy. So can you tell me, is there collectors people coming back to them? One, two. It was there, uh, it was brown eyed girl, that sha la 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 la. Sha la 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 la. They're coming back to them. Two, one, two. It's a good card. <sighs> Two more. Three. Four. Okay. So I know a few of you are going to say, well, I haven't heard from them for a really long time. I haven't heard from them, what, six months. I've given them space. I've given them time. Remember, this is a collective reading. And if you need your individual readings doing, you want your individual timings, then just email me. We'll get a private reading booked. Um, so your collective energy, what's kind of happening, uh, You will they will come back towards you. Yes, your collective timing, you're probably roughly looking, I'm hearing about two months, two to four months as a whole. Um, some of you, it will be quicker some of you it'll be longer than that um, but that's where the energy is currently lying with debt number one your person that um, has withdrawn from a situation or whatever reasons have happened uh, there has been a lot of pressure put on them they've been feeling like they've been paddling uphill paddling upstream I know I said that before and um, feeling very very heavily burdened by things and they've tried to take responsibility for their actions um, and some of them have withdrawn for those very reasons other than that it's just been a lot of pressure going on they haven't been sure what they actually wanted um, so this is some of you is this is split this bit and um, they haven't been sure what they've wanted and they haven't wanted to lead you on they've took their time with the situation some of them thought it was moving too fast too soon they weren't quite sure if this was it some of them have just had a major freak out and a major wobble um, either way they've been feeling very heavily burdened by responsibilities feeling like they've been going uphill going up yeah paddling uphill but also with a heavy load on their back and you all know that when you're carrying loads of stuff and then you've got to go uphill as well it's not just the normal walking uphill you've got all these uh, obligations and responsibilities on top of you and trying to go uphill some of them have got responsibilities with kids some have got more responsibilities with work whatever the individual circumstances are that is um, part of the reason why they have withdrawn. There is heart-centered energy with them, um, and they're realizing what's happening at this moment in time is they're realizing the truth of the situation. They've decided to just go with the flow of it um, without focusing on where they actually want this situation to go, where they want it to end up. They just decided to take a leap of faith, see what happens, um, not focus on a, the long-term goal, but just go with the flow of it. And that 
full card will bring them back towards you as well. That means that they will go with the flow of them coming towards you. They're going to have a period of realising the truth of their emotions. Um, they've been feeling quite alone and abandoned as a whole. They've been trying to uh, get attention as well. I'm hearing a lot of them have been trying to reach out for attention, um, whether that's through social media or whether that's through personal texting. It feels more along the lines of social media for this de deck. They have been trying to um, make sure that you've given them attention and the fact that a lot of you have withdrawn from giving them attention has also made them go oh god and um, i'm going to have to make a move back towards you so you've got heart-centered energy going with the flow of it and truth realizing the truth of a situation and there's also a link with mind body and spirit uh, spirit mind body and spirit spirit are saying and um, that link is um pr meaning this situation will have to move forward one direction or another um but it's looking really promising in your favour as a collective at this moment in time. Uh, you're actually handling the situation a little bit better than them because they're feeling all these burdens going on um, and you're standing in your power, you're standing in your high priestess energy. Remember, it's never sexually orientated or gender specific. So you're standing in your kick-ass power. They're just going to go with the flow of it and make these moves back towards you um, once they've had this time time to work it through they are looking at you uh you're being more stable um they are seeing you in a more stable position they're seeing that you're kind of laying your weapons down and again that will make them make these moves back towards towards you there is going to be a, a need for movement on quite an urgent level so what they will probably do is feel that you are withdrawing from the situation or you're going to wake up feel slightly better they're going to wake up feel slightly worse realize there's more going on than meets the eye make these moves back towards you um you can manifest this moving forward you can manifest text messages from them you can man manifest phone calls from them uh, but I would step away from doing it yourself as a collective. Uh, the more pressure you put on them, the more they're going to run at this moment in time while they're, while they're feeling this burden. Uh, they need to take this time to realise what, what they actually want. And at the moment, they're stuck in this in this place of it not having a choice and a decision on it. Um, they feel that if they make a choice on it at the moment, they're going to, they, they want to take their, sorry, they want to take their time making a choice on it at the moment because they're seeing this as a longer term goal should they focus on it, if that makes sense. So then they're not getting expectations up, they're going with the flow of it. The longer term goal is um, at the moment they're thinking I'm not going to make a choice on it, I want to work out what I want, not focus on expectation with the longer term goal that this can move forward. But for now they're withdrawing from that, not making a choice, just going to go with the flow of it. Okay, the longer term plans will fit in later on. Um, it is at the back of their mind, but they just don't know what longer term goals they want at the moment. So that's why they've withdrawn as well. Um, but it's coming because you've also got the sun and you've got the six of wands, which indicates victory. So yes, they are coming back once they've sort of sorted through their shit. Um, once they've realised, once they've boxed everything up, realised that their choice has to be made, once they see that you're feeling more stable in your energy, um, the heart-centred energy is going to be expressed from their part when they feel ready. Um, but at the moment, they've just withdrawn. It is going to come back around though. Two to four months, majority of you, um, to just go with the flow of it, let it happen. Let it happen. Um, don't push them, don't push them for answers, don't push them for being with you, um, you know, let, let it all unfurl naturally, don't pick the petals off the rose bush, roses before they're ready to go, before they're ready to fall. Beauty and the Beast, it's just your Beauty and the Beast, um, yeah, it's like the last petal falling isn't it, Beauty and the Beast, they, they are, um, there is a wish that things are going to move forward that is your wish as well um but the petals have got to they've got to naturally fall it's got to take its time and then when you're feeling like it's all going to kind of give up and it's time to move on that's when it's going to be happening when movement's coming back as a collective uh, step number one let's do that number two nine twelve quick ones today i've got a massive wait list at the moment uh, so you have to bear with me uh, I do single questions which are 24 to 48 hours, the actual video reading waitlist is on 20 days at the moment because we have lots of you to read for. Can you get me into my deck two's energy please? And can you think about your person? Can we get into the collective thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes of that person? Uh, so as always it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all.
can you tell me please, are they coming back? Are there people coming back to them? First card that's just jumped out is reconciliation. Movement. So, what's happening with your people? Yes, uh, the, the overall outcome is reconciliation. Yes, they are coming back towards you. And it's going to be quite swift, quick movement. Uh, you've got two cards of quick movement. So, what is going to happen here um, is this is where the towers are jumping in. So, your people are working through their emotions at the moment. Some of them are acting quite childishly. They're not sure um, which path they're meant to be taking. It's almost like they're going to throw a bit of a coin up in the air um, and go with the flow of it and um, they're trying to get stable roots so that they can move situations forward with you but they what they're doing at the moment is they're hiding from their emotions they're hiding from what's actually going on in their heart and acting on what's going on in their head and because of that they are going to suddenly have this tower moment something's going to happen within their lives to make them realize that they want to be with you uh, some of you this has been going on for years where they've been going hot and cold some of you you've been in a relationship and then suddenly they've gone away whatever you're situation is there is going to be a, your person is going to have a tower a full-on tower or a tower moment that includes third parties the tower moment could be something happening with the relationship that they are already in there is going to be a wake-up call spirit are saying uh, i just got the final countdown uh, it's the final countdown so whilst they are acting quite childishly and being a bit of an idiot this tower moment is slowly and uh, is quickly approaching sorry once that quick approach happens this is when the movement is coming towards you really super speedy quick um, at the moment you're feeling as if you've admitted defeat you've had enough you're feeling fed up you're feeling as if they've stabbed you in the back and left you alone you're feeling isolated you're feeling cold you're feeling stranded um, but do not lose faith do not lose faith because whilst you're feeling like this, this tower moment is building up in that energy, ready for everything to kind of collapse. And once that collapses, this movement is quickly towards you. They will seek you out. They want to be with you. Um, but these guys as a whole are just very, very frightened on what direction they're meant to be taken. So they're just trying not to do anything. They're putting themselves in the hanged man position. Um, fears of this are that they don't want to... Um, end up in a situation where they're hurting other people they really want to just take the time to work out what they want that's a bit like deck number one actually kind of said the same thing as a whole um and at the moment they're not quite sure which direction they're going what they want to do in their life what pathway they're taking who they want who who's you know children are being brought into this so they're saying who's they're responsible for who they're res sorry that's a translation error who they're responsible for etc there's different reasons why they are where they are at the moment but this tower moment is going to happen which will make them come back towards you um tower moments as a whole there's going to be different different uh, versions of that for each of your individual circumstances to look at that as a whole to see what the towers are would have to do it in a private reading and um, what they're saying at the moment is for you to manifest the outcome that you want and then you'll get a, your, your union card. So really good, really promising stuff actually. Um, it's a bit stoppy starty at the moment while they're working it through. But as it progresses, it's going to be moving uh, moving towards you. Definite reconciliation. Timing wise, some of you, this is a couple of three, three about two to three weeks as it stands right now. Um, videos are timeless because there's no such thing as time in the higher dimensions which is how i work i don't work with time um because psychics can't psychics don't work with time so we can pass tap into the past the present and the future because time doesn't exist up there but on an earthly time scale some of you this is about three weeks away some of you you'll be looking longer term probably about three to six months uh, you're all at very different stages in this uh, but there is reconciliation for the majority of you as a collective energy um, and it's going to be coming out of nowhere you're not going to expect it to be happening and then suddenly you're just going to get that phone call or that text message tell the universe what you want not what you don't want and um, have a listen to some abraham hicks and bob proctor um, anything along those lines to help bring your vibration up 
try not to get yourself into a slump. I know that you're all at very different stages. Some of you are feeling betrayed and some of you are feeling a bit humiliated, etc, etc. Try to do some release the meditations to let go of that situation because if you're holding on to that, you could be pressing pause. It's better to find peace within yourself um, and then that peace can then spread out rather than trying to... Sometimes it's easier to forgive the person. You know, try, blah, 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 blah. The talking set. There's so many people talking to me right now. I've got four of them in different. I've got three in. No, I've got one in this room and three in this room. So it's coming up quite muddled. Um, it's better to have peace than to hold on to a grudge a lot of the time. And yes, we do hold on to grudges because we are human beings. Yes, we do get hurt. Yes, we do worry that it's going to happen again. But to release the situation, try to let it go. Let the heal your wounds. Spend this time that they aren't a part of your life or they've blown coals with you, whatever, looking after yourself, healing yourself, half an hour out a day just for you, paint your nails, girls, or go have nice baths or go for a run or whatever you're, you do to keep your vibration high and keep you happy. Go out with your friends, keep yourself distracted because once you're distracted, that energy of why aren't they texting, why aren't they calling, why haven't I heard from them, that can, hap that can move in quicker. Um, there is a quite a few of your your people's energy they're actually quite upset by the situation but they just can't see a way around it at the moment now a lot of that will be the more third party situations those of you that are in uh, their people are in relationships or even if you are in a relationship and you're in love with someone else that energy is coming forward quite strongly with this deck again just kind of go with the flow of it it doesn't mean it's not ever going to happen it doesn't mean they're not ever going to come back it's just a bit of a pause on the situation let it happen let those towel moments hit um, and once those towers hit that movement's coming back towards you and that's it okay so if you want to book a private reading email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com if you want to find me on instagram it's just mysticlovetarot uh, we've got our polar bear i'll get me a little cuddly toy in the next few weeks and then uh, and then we'll do another one get the other adoption going so we've got two adoptions so i'll keep you posted lots of love guys take care Bye bye